Did you know that this January is not the first month of 2024? It's actually the last month of 2023. Yeah, mind blowing, right? I know, I love to do these things. I love to make you smile. My point in sharing is there's a lot we got to do this month. There's information you have to have as we prepare for a brand new period of time. So much is occurring on February 4th and February 10th. So this is your preparation time. The world, ah, the world is still in turmoil, right? There's still so much going on and I know it's coming at you from all sides, but there are simple things you can do that will put you in a great position. So stay with me peeps because I got it all here for you. I just want to give people a place to go to get information. I want them to enjoy learning about Qi and how it's easy to learn about it and affect change in your own life. So Qi Pro is here for the curious seekers and for the professionals looking to get ahead. It's the bottom line. I want to empower people with information because the one thing that can't be taken from you is your knowledge. So here we go, looking at the month of January. See, the, the global community is still in turmoil and it's really hard to know what to do, but we've got to have navigational tools that get us through. And that's what I'm going to do today is talk about things you can do that will help you thrive this month. So what exactly are you preparing for? Is there another season of Game of Thrones coming? But now it's going to be spring is coming. No, you know me. I love to jest and have fun with these things. And while spring is coming, thank God winter is going, it's not here yet. Okay, we're not quite there. We have work to do before spring arrives. So let's stick to the here and now. You're going to see me jump around a bit. I'm going to talk about January and I'm going to give you hints for the year because this is, oh my God, it's such a preparation time. You, you got to follow these things that I'm going to lay out today because it's going to make everything different for you. On January 6th, okay, which is, I'm recording this today, January 6th, it's something called Yi Chu. Yi is yin wood, chow or chu is ox, okay? So what we have in this month is a lot of inward motion. So we're thinking, we're observing, and we're waiting. Okay, the ox kind of makes us wait. The wood wants to push us forward, but I need you to lean on the ox. I need you to wait, please. I ask you to enjoy this moment. I encourage you to enjoy this moment as we're very much still in the in-between I spoke to last month. Your feet are not firmly on the floor yet. And this is not meant to be rushed through. I have a great friend who always reminds me whenever I get, I find myself overwhelmed and I'm like, oh my God, but this just isn't working and I can't do this and I can't do that. He'll always calmly say, yet. Add yet to the end of your sentence, Sam. You're just not achieving X, Y, Z yet. You haven't finished X, Y, Z yet. And that's what I want to pass on to you today. Things aren't quite happening the way you want them to yet. But once February lands, you're going to feel it big time and you'd better be ready to step forward then. So why am I getting you to pause this January? Why is it so, so important to pause this January? Well, dare I say, because I said so. I know, I know. Sorry, I can't resist these things. I mean, I've got, I sit alone in an office here. You've got to give me some outlet, but <laughs> there's more to it than that. I know you want more out of Cheeky Sam than these little one-liners, but you know me, I stand behind what I say. February is the first month of 2024 and the first year out of a unique 20-year period of time. Now, I've been, I've been touching on this for a while now, so this should be nothing new to you. But if you're hearing it for the first time, trust me, this is big. So taking time to observe where you are and to consider your options and align your thoughts now is the best action you can take for your future. I get that you're chomping at the bit. You've probably made a New Year's resolution. You're probably thinking, oh, you know, but I'm going to do this. And I said I would do this January 1st. I said I'm going to do this with my company. I'm going to do this with my relationship. I'm going to achieve X, Y, Z. Well, you're not yet, okay? It can happen. In fact, 2024, in many ways, is going to be brilliant, but it's not going to be easy. And if you're not prepared, you're... Oh my God, it's just, it's going to be so much harder for you. If you rush into February unprepared, you'll be chasing the dragon of 2024 all year long and he will remain firmly out of your reach. Okay, don't do this. Don't put the cart before the horse. You need to do this in the right alignment. Okay, so first of all, before I keep getting into February, let's get back to January. So there's going to be a lot of emotions come up this month. You're going to feel unsure unconfident, fed up. 
I know, not exactly inspiring words. And, I, and trust me, I do try. I do try. So how about we flip them around as where there's a will, there is most certainly a way. And you know me. When I come across things or come up against things that aren't so positive, I am going to pull the silver lining. One, one friend sort of accuses me of being a Pollyanna and always making something really good. You know what? I actually do see the negative and I am aware of the negative. But what's the point in staying there? Okay, when you've identified something that's not so great, well, for God's sake, move on for it. You, you can't probably change it, but you can work with it and make it a positive outcome. So with that in mind, with my first word, unsure, cross out the UN at the beginning. Unconfident, cross out the UN at the beginning. Fed up, cross out the Fed at the beginning. You get the gist? Are you picking up what I'm putting down here? I sure hope so, because otherwise I'm just talking to myself. And while I do like the sound of my own voice, there is a purpose in my chatter. You see, we've hit bottom. Okay, we've got world wars, we've got economy downturns, we've got unpredictable interest rates, we've got groceries literally starving us. You name it, we're feeling it. But you have control over how you feel, okay? And the good thing about hitting bottom is there's nowhere to go but up. My last word, right? Take the Fed out of Fed up and we've got up. Focus there, please. Focus on being sure, not unsure. Being confident, not unconfident. And looking up, not being fed up. It's an easy thing and it's a bit of a mindset. And I'm, I'm a big believer in actions, not just thinking about things. But I've come to realize that where everything starts is in our mind. So I really want you to take this and put it in your mind and run with it. So how do you use January to turn your life around to be ready? Well, it's very simple, actually. You be still, quiet, open. You simply be. Don't give me that look. I can see you raising your eyebrows or, you know, eyebrows or probably chuckling. I think, oh, here she goes with the bloody being still and being quiet stuff again. I know you're probably questioning my credentials right now. Hear me now. Trust me later. I would not say this if it wasn't important. You cannot turn the world around right now. You have to wait for the month to clear and then leap into action in February. Use January to find yourself. Ask yourself big questions. And I mean big questions. Are you where you want to be? Pursuing your passion with the person you want to be with? Are you happy? Ooh, that last one's a doozy, isn't it? To move forward into 2024's dragon, as it steps forward into position, you have to know where you want to go. Okay? I want you to look at this I will expand in the New Year talk, but February is going to be like Dragon's Den 2024. So in 2024, it's like entering the realm of the actual famous Dragon's Den on TV, okay? And it's time to prepare your pitch now. Being still this month will will allow you to unearth and clearly hear your inner voice that's screaming at you to make better moves in 2024. If your pitch to the Dragon's Den is not ready, your voice will be lost amidst other voices that clamor for the dragon's attention. They will win over you. You will be left behind, right? I'm not going to sugarcoat this. I, I really am not because you need to know this. We're entering, and, I, and yeah, I'm being a bit cheeky with my dragon's den because I love to use analogies. Technically, for my colleagues out there, you know what I'm referring to. But what I want you to hear, what I want you to remember is something you can visualize. You are going to stand in front of the dragon's den, And if you don't have your pitch ready, if you're like, "Uh, well, um, uh, you know, I was thinking that, you know, I could start a business, but I don't know if it should be this or I don't know if it should be that. Or, or, you know, I could actually do this. The dragons are just going to look at you and say, thanks, that was a great pitch, but I'm out. And actually they're lying. It wasn't a great pitch. You ummed and aahed and you didn't know what you bloody well wanted. So get ready to say, I want my career to be this. I want my relationships to be this. I want whatever it is that you want, okay? This is your time to name it. And I want you to focus, okay? You can't just say, well, I want a million dollars and I want a new car and I want a relationship. And I want... No, no, no. The dragons are just going to look at you and say, yeah, done. Moving on to the next pitch. I want you to focus and streamline your pitch and be clear with what it is you want. Because if you ask, you will be given the opportunity to fulfill your needs. So when I said you'll be left behind... I'm not messing. If you want me to tell you it's all fairy cakes, castles and magical dragons about to fly in, 
you're, talk, you're listening to the wrong person. Let me tell you, go find another podcast. Clearly, you would be new to me because you know I say it how it is because I want to give you the goods. So get your pitch ready so you can ask for what you want as the dragon will take up the challenge and help you go where you want to go. Now remember, this is January, so it's all about pulling out of yourself first. What has been buried for far too long? What do you want to do? No more hesitation, my friend. This is your prep time, so you can scale 2024 like nothing the world has ever seen. Don't waste this preparation time. Okay, well, I feel like I've lectured you enough for a minute. I want to move into some feng shui and astrology because those are key things that people are always asking. So you've, if you're not sure, go back and listen to what I just said again because it's the most important part out of this podcast. Yes, I love what I'm just about to talk about. But what I've said to this point is the crux of it, okay? I can't say that enough. All right, so how do you max the feng shui in January? Well, first of all, you have to remember that feng shui is the art and science of how a space will affect you. It's the energetic Wi-Fi we tap into for greatness and sometimes inadvertently tap into for problems. The key is understanding the monthly Wi-Fi so you can make stronger and more purposeful moves. So let's get straight to it. So beneficial areas in January to use more. So this this means simply look at your apartment, your house, your office, whatever, wherever you are. And, you know, because I don't know it. So you're there. Work out where north, east, south, west is, all those kind of things. And then listen up. Two good areas to use more are the west is first. This is a great area for fame, recognition, reputation building. It's all here. So use the heck out of your West area for phone calls, meetings, and to ignite potentials. You can actually just sit in the West and think things through and write things down. You can still tap into that Wi-Fi, but it's all about building your brand, building your reputation. The next good area is the South. So if you're incubating a great idea for a new venture, one that has financial future leads, this is the area to actively use. So we could say this, the West and the South are similar, but they're not. The, um, but they're different. They're, they're similar, but they're different because the West is all about um, reputation and branding and the South is about igniting your idea. So slightly different, but both good to use. Well, if we've got good, we've got to have the not so good. So what would be two problematic feng shui areas in January? Well, the Southeast is the first one I'm going to identify. It's pretty negative for communication, so no major conversations here, okay? They could easily turn argumentative. And this is not where you're going to make phone calls from if you're going to pitch a new idea or you're connecting with someone for business because it's just not going to go well. It's going to be a challenging conversation. The other area is the Northwest. This is gossip. Did I mention gossip? I should mention gossip. Ugh. So again, it's, it's around communication, but it's, it's different. This one is negative backstabbing, back chat. Um, so be realistic with the words you use if you're using the Northwest area, because someone's probably going to quote you negatively and get you into a bit of trouble, get you in a bit of hot water and probably push your boundaries. So just be aware of these two areas. They both kind of have a communication theme and it's not in a good way. Now, I know that you may not be able to use an area or, or not use an area. So you're just going to you're going to roll with this as best you can. And maybe you can't use it at home, but maybe at work you can, okay? Simply get out your phone, compass, whatever, work out where these areas are and tap into the Wi-Fi. It's there. You can't see it, but it's there. All right, let's move into horoscopes. So if you don't know your astrology chart, go to cheaprosam.com and you're going to see the calculators, work out your chart, take a picture of it, come back to me. Here we go. Do you have a goat in your chart? Well, I, <laughs> I don't know where to start here. I have a goat in my chart. I'm just going to put my hand up right now because I'm not happy about this. Um, January is always my toughest month. Always. It's always when I get sick and I've just been sick already as we entered the month. So technically known as a clash, this could, you know, just means change for most people. But for me, it, where it is in my chart, it's, it, it affects my health. So it's always a month I go down. So, but for most of you, <clears throat> I'm going to say there's change. So what do you want to change? Um, well, here you go. Let me, let me put this in real time. So when I went down with this cold, flu, whatever it was, um, I realized, okay, my sleep could be better. Uh, were my vitamins on track? No, I was missing a couple of key things. Was my water intake enough? Probably not. So I'm, I'm able to look at that and change a few things about my habits, about what I'm doing that will make me stronger. So I want you to do the same. Because I'm born day of the goat, so that's why I attach to my health. So if this is you, 
Set yourself up better this month and establish some healthy habits now. If it's in the month, the year or the hour, it's going to be a little bit different. There will be changes in your career at work and sometimes with your investments. All depends on where it is. Now, do you have a horse in your chart? Well, I got a, I got a laugh here because I'm, I'm now two for two. I have a horse in my chart too. So, and like I said, January is my least favorite month of the whole year. Um, this means it's kind of things are coming at you from all sides a little bit. It's something called a harm, um, which does sound bad. I know, I know. But if I can live with it, you can too. A harm isn't always badly, but you just got to be aware of your surroundings. Okay, slow down and observe what is occurring around you and for you. And you will spot what the harm is because it's going to be different for every one. So a harm could just be that you get um, upset with some friends or they get upset with you and you, you feel a little bit sad. It can be where it is in my chart again, it affects my health. So I knew, no surprise when I got sick, I was like, oh, bloody hell, a clash and a harm. We know what's happening here. So it's, don't be afraid of it, but do be aware. We are, you know, if you're in the wintry hemisphere like me, just be aware of when you're traveling and ice, snow, all those things. All right, moving on. Do you have a dog in your chart? This one's interesting. You may feel backed into a corner, but are you? No, seriously, are you? I highly doubt that you are. It's simply the perception that's out there and it could be your perception. So I need you to step back and have a look at what's really occurring. Use January to observe your world and you will see you have way more options than you first thought. So I really need you to carry this with you. If you've got a dog in your birth chart, really carry this with you. In, in, in a sense, it's more important than the two I've just said because it's all your perception and if you, well, let's think about it. If you feel backed into a corner, what often happens was one of two things. You go down because you're like, you crumple, like you just fall apart or you come out fighting because damn it, you're not going to be backed into a corner. Neither one of those outcomes is good, right? So know this, know this, know this, and don't re- react in either one of those ways. I've warned you. I've given you the heads up. Come out of this a different way. Calmly step out of the corner and into the light and think, right, right. What am I not viewing properly? Let me look at this again. All right, moving on, because we've got two more to talk about. Oh God, I can't believe I wrote this. Um, (laughs) Do you have a dragon in your birth chart? And that's me, three for three. Oh God, Um, I think I'm just going to go home now. This one's a bit of a doozy because we're, we're January month, but we're heading into dragon year. So this is a little bit of a heads up of what's coming your, your way and my way, because I've got a dragon. This one is about bad habits, um, which is kind of in line with the Gregorian New Year's resolution, right? Everyone's saying, oh, I'm going to get fitter. I'm going to get thinner. I'm going to eat vegan. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that and all this stuff. But, you know, I don't really believe in New Year's resolutions that much. And I also believe in February, not so much January 1st. But maybe work on some areas that need your attention as it is time to ensure you create better habits this month, okay? Okay. You may, you may then find you've moved something out of the way while you do this. And what you're going to see is what you uncover as you do this and maybe recalculate some of your habits is you actually could have been the problem. You're the reason you're not doing something. Now, I'm going to put my hand up fully because I like to give you examples. I am trying to adopt a more vegan um, diet. I've been wanting to do it for years. I'm primarily vegetarian anyway. But I'm telling you, some of those habits are hard to take. I tried the non-dairy creamer today and I'm like, I just ruined my morning coffee. So I'm going to back off and I'm going to approach things one at a time. okay? and just build on them slowly. I'm not going to do a clean slate, wipe the floor, empty my kitchen because that is going to backfire, especially with me. So whatever it is you're working on, can I say give yourself some grace and give yourself small attainable steps. You don't have to do this in one fell swoop. Okay, last one up, rat. Do you have a rat in your birth chart? Well, you're favored this month. You are the favorite one. It's all smiles and hugs for you. I wish, and I know I do not have a rat in my chart. Damn it. (laughs) So this is all, this is something called a combination. And it just means that you will find that you connect with people easily, people that you need for something. Your networking skills are going to be up there. Um, You're just going to bump into people that are useful connections that carry through the year. So it's a very... It's a very good combination for you. And I like that. And yes, I wish I had a rat in my chart. By the way, what I will say is when I highlight a positive, like the one with the rat just now, 
If you don't have that in your birth chart like me, it doesn't mean you can't make connections. It just means you're going to have to instigate how they occur. You're going to have to work at it. Whereas for the rat, it's actually going to come to them. Okay, so always know that everything is within your grasp if you choose it to be. So choose it. Now, as I close out this podcast, what are my final thoughts on how you can succeed this January? Well, use this time wisely. I've given you the big picture of what's about to occur in 2024. Uh, Well, I shouldn't say that. I've given you some hints about Dragon's Den and more is coming in February when I reveal everything. So that starts next month. So find your foundation now, right? Get your Dragon's Den pitch ready now. You won't get a second shot in February. So don't muck this up. You always have a choice in how your month will play out. It's always within your control. So don't give me that line you had no choice. Or, oh, Sam, you know, it was just bad astrology. I had three animals just like you did, so everything was bad. No, you have choice. I know what's coming at me this month. Yeah, I got sick, but I turned it around and I will watch for it all month because I know that's going to be my Achilles heel. I want you to choose to be still. And you will find your assurances, you will find your confidence, and you'll see how your life is on the up and up. Listen, I believe in you. And actually, on that note, next month, I'll be sharing my word for 2024. So how about you think what yours will be, as it will show itself during January. So enjoy the journey, go inward, find your passion, find your direction, find your focus and find your word and let's have a conversation next month